carefully filed down part of this fire steel to give me a bit of surface and make it a little bit thinner. I then drilled a hole in a little piece of wood that was the same diameter as the fire steel. I then drilled a wider hole in that piece of wood but not all the way through so that I could then push this fire steel into the hole and I'd be left with a gap around the fire steel which I then filled with epoxy resin. I then removed that mould that I'd made and then just using a file and some sandpaper, I was able to make this little end here. It needs repainting, I painted it red. And that has never come off, that's stuck fast, which is really nice. So that when this goes into here, it sits there nicely, yet it is very easy to pull out because it's like the other tools, they're just slightly proud by about half a millimetre and it's just enough for you to pull the thing out. And just to show you the fire steel does actually work. 